Hello, welcome to GOT. Today we're going to talk about the Z Fold 5. Now, six months review. How does the Z Fold 5 compare to the flagship smartphones of Samsung? So we're going to compare brother to brother or sister to sister, however you want to say it. We're going to determine whether the Z Fold 5 still holds up to the current smartphones. Well, you know, the newer phones, they came out with the AI features having the Snapdragon Gen 3, where this still has a Gen 2 chip in it. And with that AI comes a lot of new smart features. Now, since the release of these phones, the Z Fold 5 and many others have received all those new updates for AI. So does it really compete? I'm gonna talk about my daily use of the Z Fold 5, how I use it today, do I use it more than the bar phones? And does the AI keep up on Gen 2 versus Gen 3? So first off, let's talk about my daily use. Well, on my daily use with the Z Fold, I take it everywhere. It's always on me, on my pouch, on my side. I use a pouch because I don't like these bulges in my pocket. So no matter what other bar phone I'm carrying, I do always have the Z Fold 5 with me. And why is it? Well, it's simply because of this massive screen. I like having the large screen when I'm absorbing content or watching videos. This is the best way to do it. And another use case scenario is in my car. Check this out. I like to put my phone in a mount, makes it easily accessible. I pair my apps and I do this so I can open up YouTube Music at the same time as Google Maps. This is a really nice and slick way to do it because it actually brings all the controls closer to me. I don't have to reach as far as the dashboard. Also, you can actually do this with voice command. You can tell the phone what to do and what you want to see. And as always, you want to be safe and set all this up before you start driving. Now let's check out some of these AI features and do some comparing on the phones themselves. So what's really cool on this is you can take your phone here and if you just press on the gallery, you can open up the gallery and see a photo here of my little dog. I'm going to go ahead and take this photo and I'm going to combine it with another one. So if I hold and press him, you can see I move him around here and then just slide over to the next photo. And let's say I just place him right here. There he is. Now I can move him any way I want and I can actually size him any way I want. So that looks like it's a continuous photo, a progressive photo of him coming towards me. So that's pretty cool. I can do as many as I want that way. And then all you do is take it and save it. And now you have that photo. Now doing this same thing on the Z Fold 5 is a little different experience simply because you can actually take this and you get a much bigger screen as you can see. I don't even have to zoom for you to see it, which is really nice. And same thing happens on the older phone. You could take this and go over here, put him in this photo. And there he is. And then I can zoom him in, put him wherever I want. Matter of fact, it's so much easier on the Z Fold simply because of the size. You can put them anywhere you want and you just save it and there you have it. Now on the Z Fold 5, I'm going to demonstrate Magic Eraser and then the regular eraser. So let's say I want to erase him from this photo. Let's go ahead and you hit the circles here and you hit Object Eraser. It's going to try to pick something automatically. It can't. I'm just going to circle him and there it perfectly circles him. I hit erase and then he's gone. That was pretty quick, but I don't know if you could tell or not. It's pretty blurry where he was. Okay, pretty blurry. You can always go back to the original simply by pressing up here and revert to original. And there he is again. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and now I'm going to edit him using this magic button right here on the screen. Generate. I'm going to go ahead and circle him once again. And it picked him out nicely. And then you have a couple options here. I can hold and select. And then there he is. And you can just say erase. And then it will erase. And you have to generate, of course. Generate. It's going to take a little bit longer because now it's going up to the web. It's not doing it on the phone. And it's got this little magic touch here, which is, you know, I guess cool. But it just takes a long time to do this. There you go, now he's erased. And if you look, that area he was in is not as blurry as it was before. So now here's something that the Z Fold 5 now also has, has circle to search. And let's say you're looking for a jacket. And let's go ahead and look at all of them. 
and you see here and you're not quite sure if that's the best price on a jacket that thing looks really bulky there but let's take a close look let's see if it's going to actually take us to the website where this jacket is or show us something different let's see here circle to search press on that and let's circle let's circle that jacket see right here uh nefco okay it's taken us to a lot of other different sites and you can see here you can get it at different prices 103 59 62 so that's a really good use case for the circle to search why pay 67 there when you can get it for 59 here here's 29 dollars i guess used uh, i don't know but you can see here it could be useful or if you prefer, you can pay $225. Then, of course, you have the AI to help you with messages. For instance, I want to create a message here. I think Monday is a better option for us going to the movie. That way, you got a couple days to rest and won't sleep during the movie. LOL. Now, let's go ahead and correct that. But let's erase the now let's go. And let's have it using this AI. Let's do a spell and grammar check and do that fairly quickly and I always just tell it to go ahead and insert it and then you if you want you can do a writing style which I like to do sometimes well, I wouldn't respond to my wife professionally but here we go I think Monday is a better day so I think Monday would be a better day for us to go to the movies that way you have a couple days to rest and won't fall asleep during the movie ha ha so let's just insert that one so there you go it grammar checked and it gave me a new style and I can just send that off. So when it comes to just daily use and responding to text messages or even emails, I find it easier just to pick up one of the bar phones because it's quicker and easier and I have a much better viewing surface than this narrow front screen on the Z Fold 5. So to answer the question, you might be asking yourself, well, where does he keep the second phone? Well, I actually do put the second phone in a pocket. Typically, if I'm wearing a jacket, I have a jacket pocket or sometimes when I'm Moving around, uh, I will put it in my back pocket, but of course, as soon as I sit down, it comes out of my pocket. As a reviewer, sometimes it is inconvenient carrying two phones around or sometimes three, but it comes with the territory. If I want to review these, I've got to do it. So you might ask, well, why don't you just do voice to text on the Z Fold 5 then to make it easy? That way you don't have to open it up. Well, a lot of times that is a possibility, but more than not, the Z Fold, for some reason, does not dictate as well as the flagship phones. For some reason, and it could be the Gen 2 versus the Gen 3, the Z Fold 5, the dictation just does not come out as accurate as the other flagship phones. And it's probably because on the dictation, it is actually doing it on device. Now, to be honest, even on the flagship phones, it does have issues sometimes when you dictation. So you've got to go back and you've got to correct it. And that's when it becomes an issue on the Z Fold 5. On the front screen if you got a backspace go back or erase a portion of it because it messed up just imagine how difficult that is on the narrow screen now if some of you out there have the z Fold 5 and you're experiencing this let me know down in the comments below share your experience and maybe how you get by with using that front screen for quick responses i would like to know i like to hear from you and share it with the rest of the community if it's better than what i do for sure and then there's camera how well does the z fold 5 do with the camera well the camera is about the same since they haven't really changed their camera much over the years and they all have the same three times zoom the same 50 megapixel camera in order to do better in the samsung family you've got to go up to the samsung ultra so the s24 ultra if you want better photography and camera taking capabilities now where the z fold 5 does differ from the other flagship phones is when you're reviewing the photos you do have a bigger screen However, when you want to take the photos, trying to do it with the screen open is like trying to take a photo with a tablet. It's just a little too big and bulky, but it does have this folding feature where you can fold it and then you've got a viewer and controls down below where you can take a photo. So that's kind of handy if you want to do that. But again, it still feels weird. It's not just a click and shoot. Now you can take photos with the Z Fold, just leaving it closed and trying to use it as a regular camera. But of course, again, it's narrow. So your view window is quite a bit smaller. And then on the Z Fold 5, the screen is not as bright as the newer flagship phones on Samsung if you're using it outdoors. However, I do find it sufficient enough to use the camera on the Z Fold 5 outdoors when it's really bright. So did I just nullify what I said? <laughs> I don't know. 
you judge. And there you have it. The Z Fold 5 does stand up to most of the flagship features and functions. However, there are some downsides because of the Gen 2 chip. Now, just to break it down to percentage, how much do I use the Z Fold 5? Well, when I'm carrying it along with a bar phone, I'll use the Z Fold 5, believe it or not, 40% or less of the time, simply because of the easier convenience with the bar phone and that front screen. So stick around and see what do I do if I have a foldable with a larger front screen? Does that allow me to keep the bar phones in my pocket when I want to do a quick response? My guess is probably will. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please let me know and share a like down below. Of course, while you're down there, as always, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content, especially when we cover more foldables. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Until next time, God bless.